Hello students, today we shall discuss question number 4 of 1.6 relation to number sequences figure it out. How many little triangles are there in each shape of the sequence of stacked triangles? Which number sequence does this give? Can you explain why? So you must know what are stacked triangles. The meaning of stacked means putting it in a stack like piling up, going on adding rows. So here we are going on adding triangles in each row. First let's draw it. First we will have just one triangle like this. Then you will add one more row to this and we will add the triangles like this. So now one, two, three, three triangles here. Now you will copy this here and then add one more row to this. We just copied this and then you will add one more row and we will draw the triangles. Same thing you need to copy. So I will copy first. This has become little thinner but it should be like this same thing. Okay, So use scale to draw it when you are doing it. And then add one more row and the triangles. Now let us count the number of triangles. Here we have one. Here 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So first one is 1, this is 1 plus 3 which is 4, 1 plus 3 plus 5 which equals 9, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, I am adding up all the small triangles that equals to 16. Now if you draw the next one, if you see the pattern, that would be 25 because we are getting all square numbers. So the first part of the question, how many little triangles are there in each shape? We have done that. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36 and so on. And the second part, which number sequence does this give? So you can write we get the sequence of square numbers. Can you explain why? Because adding up odd numbers. These are all odd numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. These are all odd numbers. So when we are adding these odd numbers starting from 1, it gives square numbers and this we have learned in 1.4 relations among number sequences. If you see my introduction video, the first example which is given in your textbook of 1.4 relations among number sequences that has been discussed and that is about adding odd numbers starting from 1 which gives square numbers. So the same concept we are using here. So we will write, we get the sequence of square numbers because adding up odd numbers starting at 1 gives square numbers. Well, that was the answer for question number 4. See you all in the next video.